I'm going to talk about the diagnostic approach to a difficult prostate biopsy. But uh, before we get down to the nitty gritty of the diagnostic approach, and I want to show you several prostate biopsies. They all contain uh, uh, they all contain a small focus of uh, atypical glands that may or may not be sufficient for diagnosis of a cancer. So when we look at uh, these cases, I want you to think about them and, and decide whether you could make a diagnosis of a cancer or not, and why. Then uh, later we're going to come back to uh, look at uh, these uh, cases again. So this is the first case. You see uh, several small atypical glands here at the edge of the biopsy. So, who thinks that uh, you can uh, make a uh, cancer diagnosis for this case? Let me sh uh, see some. I'm sorry? At least ASAP. At least ASAP, why? If you can make a diagnosis of a cancer, why? Okay. Okay, good. I think those are good reasons. Uh, so this is second case, low power. You see a focus of uh, crowded large glands, high power. So cancer, anyone? Or could this be uh, a focus of high grade pain? Right? Who would call this a high grade pain? Quite a few people will, okay. Then next case, you have a focus of a crowded glands, Low power, high power. Okay, cancer, anyone? Okay, see a few uh, hands. And how about this case? Anyone would call this cancer? Or maybe it's just not, not enough of the atypical glands, right? Okay, how about this one? Low power, high power, cancer? A few hands, I see a few hands. And uh, this case, cancer, okay, a few people. 